Hey, good morning. Today I want to take you through the process of how I download Sketchfab models for free and bring those into Character Creator for accessories such as shoes in this example or anything else and how you attach those, basically connect them to your the bones of your 3D model, of your person, your character, so you can use those in your animations or 3D renderings. So. We'll get right into the video and thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. First thing we want to do is go to sketchfab.com. Search for the item you're looking for. You get a bunch of results. Filter this down to downloadable and then you'll see some with prices and then some without prices. The ones without prices are obviously free. So I'm going to check this new balance out. It'll kind of render out. You can see this is a pretty high quality shoe made by this person here. They have a bunch of other things on their site. So I'm going to download this and I'm going to download the OBJ original format. So now I'm going to drop that into a folder. It comes with a bunch of folders and you got to kind of extract everything out to get the, uh, root of the OBJ and the materials. So I'm going to open 3D Exchange and import this OBJ into 3D Exchange. And you'll see it comes in, it says it's too small. And there's some, some weird things going on where it doesn't actually show up. It's there, but it doesn't show up. You can see there's um, nothing there next to the dummy. The object's there, but it's not showing up. So we're gonna have to use a different program. I'm gonna open SimLab Composer 9, and I'm gonna create an empty space, and I'm gonna import this file, drag that into the space there. And now it comes in without materials on it, so we're gonna have to reapply the material. So I'm gonna create a new material and add those textures to it. So you could tweak the overall colors of the model if you want, but turn everything to 255 and you'll get the true color of that. And then we'll export this out as another OBJ. With material based on materials. Now I would have, the only reason I'm bringing this in SketchUp is so I can create the other shoe. Um, if you had 3D Max or something like that, you could actually take that OBJ, mirror it, mirror it inside 3D Max, and you wouldn't have to take this in SketchUp. But I don't have 3D Max, so I'm going to take this in using the Skimp plugin. I'm going to import the OBJ. It comes in with materials. So I'm going to take this and basically copy it along the red axis and flip it so that I get the other, the other shoe because we need both. And when we bring this into cre uh, character creator, you're not going to be able to flip or mirror the object. You can only kind of rotate stuff. So um, this has to be done in some other program. Like I said, 3D Max is probably the best solution, but there's kind of a workaround from that. So you can see that some of the texture on the flipped model is backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and flip a couple of items that are very visible. I'm not going to flip everything because it's kind of a jumbled mess of an image here, but I'm going to change the new balance and flip that around and change the number on the front. Basically just copy, copy the layer 
mirror it, and place it back into position. So now you got to take this image and reapply it to the shoe. So I create a new material here with that image matching the other one. And then go into the actual shoe and select the surface and change that to the other material and say OK. And it'll update. Delete this SketchUp person out. So now we have our shoes that we can import. So I'm going to export these again to another mesh, another OBJ. Alright, so we're open character creator. First thing I'm going to do is change this character. I'm going to change it to a man clothed here. Load this avatar. And I want to delete these shoes because the shoes are the ones we're changing on our character. So I'm going to change his pose to the default T pose. So now I'm going to import an accessory. So we grab the pair of shoes we made, open. And they're going to come in down by the feet, but they're really tiny. So we need to scale these up and move them into position. So the first thing you'll do is scale them. Grab the center node and you can scale everything globally. And now we'll just slide them back and forth and up and down to get them in the right position. Just kind of moving those things around together, um, focused on one shoe really. Now we need to separate the two. So go to Edit Mesh, select by element, and you can pick the one that you need to adjust. And we'll just move it around independent of the other. All right, so we'll turn Edit Mesh off and I think we've got them in pretty good position. So if you change the pose of your character, you'll notice that basically they jump out of the shoes. So you need to tie those shoes to the character. Um, so we'll select the shoes and we'll go to modify and transfer skin weights. And we'll choose shoes as the transfer type and apply. And then close. And now if we change the position, you'll see these shoes conform to the actual skin. You can see they bend with the foot too, if there's some kind of foot, foot bending going on. So now I want to save these, so I got a custom um, shoes and do plus and then I'll add that to my library my custom library of shoes here so I'll name these get the spelling right and now the, the thumbnail is pretty bad on where I saved it so I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to update the thumbnail by saying capture thumbnail now you got a little bit better image. I'm going to delete this other one that I've done previously. And that is pretty much my process for bringing in accessories for 3D characters. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And I look forward to providing more of these videos in the future. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching.